Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to another video. So, now that I've shown you everything from dead grass to beautiful art, let me show you the next crazy thing that I have MacGyvered together, and I am praying to anyone that's listening to me that this works, because... If it doesn't, it's going to be a mess. So what we have here is an avocado slicer that I duct taped, if you want to call it that, to a plastic cup. Now, my husband constantly gets grocery bills and no food, and he wants to know why the bills are so high. Well, you know, I go to the store and I find things like this and first thing that pops in my mind is what kind of cool design can I get with that? So for eight bucks, I found this at my grocery store um, along with a juicer and a few other things that you're going to be seeing in the upcoming days. And I figured, why not? Now, he saw it sitting on a table and said, since when do you eat avocados? So all of a sudden, I am a lover of avocados, although I've never eaten one in my life and don't dare even try because uh, I, I don't know. They just don't look good to me. But anyway, that's just me. So what I'm going to do, I have some paints mixed up, uh, one part paint, one part flow trial thinned out to some water, thinned out with some water. I'll show you the consistency here. Okay, and I'm going to layer them in this cup and pour them on a canvas and see what we get. Hey, you never know. It may turn it into a masterpiece. I have my fingers, toes, eyes, and anything else that I can cross, crossed. I have some very bright, cheerful colors because I'm in one of those moods. I need some bright and happy in my life. So this right here is uh, golden fluorescent pink. These are just going to be all uh, tube paints. This here is Artist Loft Purple. Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. Pebio Iridescent Green Gold, I believe. I'll show you the tube in a second. Uh, this is Holbein luminous rose and then bright aqua green by liquitex and what i'm going to do is i'm going to layer them in the cup i'm going to put a color i'm going to put two colors together some white two colors some white two colors some white and i forgot to mention the yellow i use yellow so little i forget about it so there's the purple the bright aqua green fluorescent yellow and it was iridescent green yellow iridescent green blue and the whole bind so some of these paints you can find in my amazon shop the link is below in the description you just click on that link it takes you right to amazon and then you'll see tabs in the amazon shop uh paints if you click on that it takes you to all paints uh, resin tools and supplies. Uh, there's all different categories I have set up nice and neatly for you. And also, if you use my Amazon link to do any shopping on Amazon, I get credit for that. And I want to thank everybody immensely for doing that because it does add up quickly and helps with the supplies. That's the fluorescent pink. Okay, so now I'm going to very carefully layer these. I'm going to do it on time lapse because it is a lengthy process. I'm hoping when I let go of this handle that this just does go boop because it is handle heavy. I guess you would say the cup is very light. So we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck.
going to try to show you this cup. It's pretty cool looking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a canvas out and I'm going to cover it in white paint that's mixed. It's regular acrylic white paint mixed with Floetrol just like the colors, okay? Okay, so I just dumped it in the center and kind of tilted it around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully take this. I'm afraid to hold it by the handle, to be honest. I'm going to start right here and kind of work my way backwards. So here we go. See what kind of design we can get out of this thing. You know, the, the things I go through for a little bit of fun. <laughs> The lectures I get. Okay, so we're ending that pathway. Let's go up this way now. It's leaving a pretty cool design. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go this way. This is a little boring right here. Go out. Pretty pastel colors. Very pretty pastel colors. We are nearing the end of the rope here. I can show you the inside of it. Oh, come on, sorry. You shut this focus off. There we go. It's pretty cool. Cool looking. Alrighty. Okay, so the hard part's done. Actually, that's the easy part. The hard part is getting this to turn into something that we like, right? So first things first, I'm going to torch to pop any air bubbles that may be lurking in the depth of this painting. So I'm getting a lot of positive feedback on my new intro with my little furry guy. <laughs> and I just, I absolutely love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the compliments. And I'm having fun editing and adding in subtitles and making a little fun of myself here or there. You know, I believe in myself. When I crack jokes about myself, it's all in good nature. It's about me, you know? I'm just a big kid at heart. Okay. What do we got going here? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what we are going to have going in a minute, and that is a cat up on the table. Mia. Mia, Mia, I don't know. I'm out in my kitchen today again. So. Hey, look at this down here. Wow, I like that. I am liking this. The colors I'm loving. The unique design. I am just so tired of the same old things over and over. I have to keep going and try different things because this is really, really fun. 
it's pastel, but it's bright. I mean, this area down here at the bottom, when I give you a close-up, it's really, really cool. I'm going to leave it just as that. Pop some resin on that baby. Okay, so let's check it out. That is really cool looking. And any type of cells you're seeing, that's just the flow trial that interacts with the paint and creates those. There's no silicone in this. It most definitely is different, and I like different. Look at that. It reminds me of ribbon candy for some reason. I like the avocado slicer. I'll give you some flash too while we're at it. I'll tell you what, I miss my primary elements. Um, a metallic paint or a color shift paint just does not compare to those. As you can see, you can see a little tiny bit of shimmer from the metallic paints I used, but nothing compared to what I showed you in the beginning of the video. So anyway, that's it for this piece. I am toying around with the idea of doing one more piece because this isn't a very long video. So if you want to stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm going to do a quick um, bloom painting in these same exact colors, except for what my primary elements. This is really pretty. It's, I don't know. It's cool. Maybe you don't like it. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so let me get another canvas. All right, I have an 11 by 14 canvas here. And I'm going to put down a layer of white house paint. Semi-gloss white wall paint I buy at Walmart. Color place. Full description on how the paints are mixed is in the description. It's labeled recipe you'll see it so i'm going to put a nice amount of paint there on that canvas i'm going to tilt it around a little bit just a wee bit spread out some of that lovely white paint get it nice and covered you don't want to leave a lot of white paint on this canvas because it will crack when it's drying. You, I highly suggest stretching. I know some people will put a pillow and then tilt it. But I find when I do that, that I don't tilt enough off because I'm so concentrated on the pattern and what it looks like. That I don't want to tilt off a pretty area and then it cracks. So the best thing to do is tilt. Get it off of there in advance. And I'm just going to get my gloves off because they are a sopping mess. You stay pretty clean from this point forward um, if you're careful. So what am I going to do? Let's put down some colors. Again, same palette, except for this time, I have two lovely colors I am adding in. Three, sorry, I have kiwi also. Um, so this one is kiwi, primary elements. Whoop, focus. That's a kiwi. Then, oh, I could put the flash on too here. This is a combination I made. Now, I don't know if you know this, but you can mix your primary elements together to make your own custom colors. I did that for these two. So this was Snapdragon, and I added some jasmine into it, and it's got this really beautiful, gorgeous color shift to it that um, 
rhodamine violet shift to it. Okay, so that's Snapdragon and Jasmine. And then this last one here was, oh boy, Jasmine, Ginger Bloom, or I'm sorry, Ginger Flower, uh, Beach House Blue. I just mixed a couple of blues and purples and came up with this color. So we're going to use those three colors plus the colors you just saw me use for the other thing. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them down the center. I'm going to swipe them out and we're going to see what kind of design we can get. So I'm going to start with, um, the purple from Artist Loft. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Then on top of that, I'll use my custom color I made. Which, by the way, you look at this one way, it looks purple. You look at it another way, it looks purple with a, a pink shift to it. And then you look at it another way, it looks like purple with a blue shift. <laughs> I got all the... All the colors in there. All right, here's the light aqua green. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Then I think I'm going to put in some of my fluorescent pink. Just like that. I'm going to have to move these before I swipe. Then next, I'm going to use that custom Snapdragon that I made. Oh, this, this color is just delicious. Delicious, divine, scrumptious, scrum diddly umptious. Every word that you can think of, it is. Okay, now this one here is the Holbein Luminous Rose. Awful lot of paint, Tammy. And then last, we're going to go in with that yellow, which I hope it really doesn't muddy this up on me. It's going to make me very mad if it does. But I could very well see that happening. So not too much of that. Oh, we forgot about Kiwi. Where am I going to put Kiwi? We'll put them down here. Okay. So now I'm going to take some black cell activator, which is Carbon Black by Golden. And a piece of paper here. This one, I've tried the fluid version of this and this seems to work better better for some reason i do not know why it just does so here it is can't really see the consistency but it's the same as the other paints and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour it directly onto my piece of swiping paper just like so and then swipe okay so I'll do one with you so that you can see it that was not a good one but thankfully I got it so there you have their first swipe and then instead of cleaning off the card I'm just going to snip it right at the end because it's a long enough piece to just keep going. Okay, so here we go.
Okay, so you may be saying, why did she stretch that out? I just wanted to stretch it so that you can see all these magnificent colors. Really, just over one another, they just, when you stretch it out, and stretch it and stretch it, they just really light up. So, I mean, look at that. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to resin this piece. You know, if you're not happy with an area, you can go over and just blow another bloom on top. Like this area right here, it's like a little faded, but I'm not going to do anything because it kind of works with the painting. But if I wanted to, I could definitely um, add some more color there and do another mini bloom. There you have it, my friends. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. Um, make sure you check out the description for all the links. At the end of the video, you'll see a picture, a pretty painting. If you click on that, if you're on um, a phone or desktop, you can go right to my Etsy shop to see what's going on there, what kind of art I have for sale. Of course, mostly everything you see is for sale. Now, I didn't even use gold in this painting, but I have gold because it's in that kiwi. So, it's just, I love them. I love primary elements. <laughs> love, love, love. So, yeah, check out all that below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And until next time, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Happy pouring.